Hi, this is a quick video to show you how to set up a brand new WordPress site. Uh, if you've never worked with WordPress before, you go to wordpress.com. Because I already have a number of sites already set up, um, I need to be logged into my account and then I go down to the bottom here, add a new site. But if you have never set up a wordpress.com account before, simply go to wordpress.com and start there. I'm doing it via here, so I click on add a new site, if I can get to it here. So add a new site. So either you get the option to create a brand new one or an existing uh, WordPress site, but I am creating a brand new one. So I'm working on a project for a site I actually already have called Kids English Club. So here you type in whatever name you would like for your site to be. And if it's a free one, it'll have down here the option here, free kidsenglishclub.wordpress.com. Because Kids English Club is obviously already taken, it'll give me a suggestion with it, some numbers in there. I'm going to go for Kids English Club NL for, for Kids English Club. Um, sorry, Nederland. And there that is available. I can have it in select. So I do that here. It also gives you a lot of options um, like upgrades. Uh, you can choose any of those if you want to take a free plan, but for the free one, you just select here. Then you pick a plan. So I am starting here with just the free. And then they will set it up. So when you start here, you have a way of setting up pages, posts, uh, adding in plugins, customizing, choosing themes. So what I suggest is that you have a look at your email address when you sign up and they will give you a step-by-step -step guide. Um, I'm actually going to import from another site that I already own. Uh, I've already written a few blog posts and pages over there. But if you are brand new to this, it takes you on a walkthrough. So I suggest that you just follow that and then um, I'm going to pause this and import some stuff and then I'll come back and go through a few of these. Okay, so now I am going to take you on a walk through uh, this part of WordPress where you can control your website. So this is currently my Kids English Club nl.wordpress.com. This is what it looks like. This is my original site for a comparison. This was on a private hosting and over at wordpress.org. Um, and I've set it up just with a simple home page with a very simple about page, which is quite slow to load and resources, which are actually blog posts. I've just called it resources instead of blog. And you can see there that there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Um, the theme I was using was a paid theme called Divi, which is showing up the top here, but I can no longer use that now that I've transferred across to the free wordpress.com. So I'm going to have to try another theme. It has just picked one for me, which is why this is a bit of a mess. And on my home welcome page, it's doing what's called a blog roll, where it's just pulling all of my blog posts. So it's pulling all of the ones that were showing nice and neatly here under resources and putting them automatically on my welcome page. So I'll show you how to change that. So over here, um, you'll get very familiar with this. There's pages, there's posts, there's media, uh, and a few other things that we'll talk through. So the, the visit site or view site shows you here at a tab what it currently looks like. I prefer to have a different tab open. The stats and activity you don't need to worry about for now but the stats are very useful later once your site is up and running to see what's um, where people are visiting from. Then there's the activity that's been made, uh, again, not, not too much of a concern there and I'm on the free plan but it shows you that you can upgrade. With the site pages, so a page is a static place for information. So from my original site, these were pages, welcome, about, resources. So it's created a standard one contact as well as a home. Um, so they've got a contact here and the home page is this welcome page um, or the front page here. Then it's carried across resources, about and blog. So we'll come back to that in a moment, but if you click on any of these, you can edit them. So the about here, for 
example is pulled the information across but you can type here uh, like in Word and then you just click on update to the right here to save. You can close and go back. Blog posts are um, used compared to pages they're used more for uh, like news or uh, things that may be more current so site pages are usually um, the fairly standard relatively static in that the information doesn't change a lot and then blog posts um, it's a little bit like a I guess a newspaper or an article where you're adding things in depending on what your company is uh, it will be different here WordPress is added in a, a standard one the journey begins um, just to populate that for people I don't want that so I'm trashing it these are ones that I have written quite some time ago so it's it's brought them in and it's also brought in my media but if you're working with a purely blank um, a blank one you just click add make sure you click on either the left or the right here because if you click on the right it'll add and on the left is to get you to the overview of your pages and posts here any media that you upload you can either directly add it in here or when you create a page or a post and add in add in something like for example here in this blog post here I've put a screenshot in um, then that will automatically go across to the media section uh, comments is when people actually comment on your website this is carried in 1.8 thousand um, spam so a lot of blog posts have spam um, filters in place which you should also I'm going to need to delete all of those out so um, they will all be deleted and you don't have to worry too much about the comments until you your website or blogs up and running the feedback is when people send you messages usually via the contact form I found this is a new uh, what place that they put it plugins are like little programs that you can put on your website most of them um, are, sorry you need to upgrade to the business plan to have a plugin there's a difference between a widget and a plugin so plugins do things to your site they're like little programs they're like apps that add on to your site import is what I did I imported um, from this current website I had so within minutes, I pulled everything across, including my 1,800 spam messages. But anyway, um, the next thing you need to work on is customize. So here, customize will take the current theme that you have chosen or that it's chosen for you, and it will help you to tailor your site to look more how you want it. I'm going to come back to that in a minute because there's a difference if you click on the left here, the customize or the right to choose a theme. The right, it has picked this theme for me and you can look up information on each theme and here you can customize it. If you're working on free, you can click free here to look at WordPress's 92 free themes. And a theme is a pre-arranged format that your um, website will, will show in. The way it formats itself is it pulls information from different parts up here. So the pages, the posts. So the menu here will come from the pages that are set up. A lot of the images will come from the featured image in a blog post. So that means when you first choose a theme, if you've not got a few pages and posts in place with some images, it's going to look a bit weird. So if you're building a WordPress website for the first time, I would suggest you put a couple of pages in place, a couple of blog posts in place, and when you write a blog post, it's important to click here on the right on featured image and select a featured image because most of the themes actually uh, need that to make the site look good. So if you have, say, five pages set up, uh, say five blog posts set up, um, you can come back and change everything later. So even if you just put like, uh, you know, blog post one, blog post two, blog post three, the media has changed a lot because in the past you had to upload all of your own images. Now you also have a free photo library. So you can go here and you can type in things like say children. Uh, and these are all free images that you can use without worrying about having to have credit for them. Uh, you may want a flower or you may want um, clouds. So this is so much easier than just a few years ago when you had to find images yourself. Um, you can click here on 
Pexels, and that's a website that has free stock photos. Uh, I also use Pixabay, and there's a really nice one called um, unsplash.com, I believe. Um, and there's quite a few places now you can find free images. Uh, but to go back to this, um, the sharing that is to set up to connect to social media channels, um, you can leave that till, till later. These are the people on your team that edit. So if there's more than one person building a website, you can add them in there. Domains, so I have the free one, but if you own, like I do, kidsenglishclub.nl, I can connect it up here, but it will cost me to do so. And then the standard settings. So everyone should go and have a look at these standard settings, read through them and, um, and update. So you can put a tagline here, so say resources for international children living in the Netherlands or something like that. Save settings. Then the way to customize your site. So let's just go to themes for, oops, I haven't saved it. So save settings, it wasn't quite done. So to go here to customize, okay, for some reason it's telling me I haven't saved them, but I'll go back and check that later. So with the customizer, this will customize how this looks. Um, oh, I've moved, <laughs> navigated away from it now. So this one here, so very easy, for example, the menus. Let's set up a main menu. I've got welcome about and resources and I'm going to put that in the header and you can see it immediately shows how that makes a change. And then you click on publish. You can also add items. So let's say you want to put contact. Uh, so I click on the plus. So then the contact comes in over here. Um, I might want to add an item, I might want to put say the blog or anything else, but I called the blog resources. So then you click publish and it's that easy to change your menu. And you go back here, I'm going to go back to customize again. And then you just go through depending on which theme you've chosen and you go through them one by one. So here you can decide to do the title there. Here it's got my image, um, which it's pulling from site icon. So I think I can change that there. So to change the header image, for example, I could put something like that in. Um, I don't want my picture there, so I've got to click through and figure out how to change that. Let's change the header to here. Uh, and then remember to click on publish and go back. Um, and just continue going through. So I've come back to the settings, go back again to customize. And you just continue going through each of the sections and essentially just experimenting with it. You can change the colors and backgrounds. So let's say I like an orange, that's a bit harsh. I'm not going to save that one. I'm going to go back, although it seems to have done it without me saving, go back. I don't know what the original one was now. It goes grey. You can pick your own colour. Uh, I'll go back to the default. So there, click on the default. Uh, a lot of it is just experimenting. Um, so the menus, the content options, how you want things to display. CSS is coding, which you don't need to do. Widgets are little um, mini little programs that you can put. Usually they come up at the bottom of your site. So the front page of my site's really long because it's got a lot of blog posts on it. Uh, but say in the footer, you can put things like uh, a map um, down here. There should be uh, like this image or you can connect an Instagram account, um, a contact info, a map. So these are slightly different than the plugins. The widgets and the plugins both make your site do things. Widgets are, are kind of smaller uh, tasks, whereas plugins usually are, are bigger types of programs. Uh, I'm going to leave the widgets for now. The home page settings are ah, here. I want the home page to be a static page. I don't want it to be a role of all the blog, of all the blog roles. So here, I want my home page to just be a plain welcome page which is from the welcome um, pages back in the dashboard there. And the posts, all of my blog posts, I want to go to the resources page. So then I'm going to publish. 
And then my site, you can view it within WordPress. So I'm going to go back here and just refresh. So now there's my background. I don't want my photo there. So I've got to go and figure out whether the theme will let me take that out and how. Um, this is my welcome page. And if I click on resources, it should be all my blog posts. So if I put a new blog post, it's going to put them there. And the way it displays them is depending on what the theme settings are. So if I want them to display nice and small, like I have here on my original site with just a little, um, just a little image and a little excerpt, I'm going to have to go and figure out how to make the theme do that. Cause at the moment it's kind of putting them all under each other, which I think is a little messy. Um, then you can close that. You can quite easily go and change the theme if you want to, but I suggest not messing around with that too much once you've set up your site because um, each theme takes a little while to learn. But let's say here it's independent publisher. Let's say I want to use this one. You can actually go here. You can do a try and customize. So before you switch, it'll show me what that would look like. So let's see how it puts the blog posts on here under the resources. Uh, here it just pulls the title and just puts a list of them. So that's kind of nice. Uh, so I might do that instead of the one that I've got. But actually I'm going to go and spend some more time playing around with the themes and looking at the ones that I like. So that's the basics of doing a WordPress website. I'm sure there's better videos out there from WordPress themselves and a lot of other people. But that um, video just shows you some of the basics. The best advice I can give when you're working with WordPress or any new tool is expect that it's going to take you a little while to learn how to do it. Just take some time to experiment. Um, look up the help sections when you get stuck. Ask people. Uh, learn how to figure out exactly what your problem is so you can Google it or look it in the help section. So it might be... Um, you know, how do I delete an image from a blog post or something like that? But good luck. Um, building websites is fun. It's hard work sometimes, but it gives you a lot of control over being able to run your business and to manage it yourself instead of having to pay somebody uh, every time you want to change something on your website. So that's been why I've really enjoyed learning how to build a website and I wish you all the very best with it.